How many paintings would you say when you? Uh, uh, I'm sure you've done sketches and thrown things away, but I'm talking about finished paintings. How many? How many have you done in your lifetime? <laughs> less and less and less. <laughs> um, in the beginning, I turned them out at thirty-five dollars a piece. You know, in the very beginning, and um, there were hundreds. And um, now I've earned the right to 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 paint any time, anything I want. So uh, they're precious right. and. Uh, Oh, I don't know how you'd figure this out, and I don't want to tell you how old I am, because I'm so old. <laughs> <laughs> You're still in school. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is a dichotomy, isn't it? <laughs> so, so in all of those, uh, you're, do you see some, at some point, and you go, oh, I, was, I, I wish I'd done that different, or I, I no. don't like that painting, or, or are they all your, your children? Oh, yeah. Besides... You're moving on in life. How many times do you go back and have regrets? And if you do, you're wasting the, the present moment. So you loved what you were doing at the moment, right? You loved it then, and you've moved on. And there may be some people who, who still love your then, but you, you're now now. So it's appropriate for you to live in now and, and not... It's like you wish if you went back to school that you had dated that other person. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> the uh, out of all those hundreds of paintings, do you have some that are your favorites that are that are your special children? You must get asked that question. Yes, and I never know how to answer it. Um, I, kn I know that the, the quick, quippy, easy one that all artists say is the one I'm working on now. Yeah, because that again refers to the moment that you're living in the moment, and if I look back at the past. Um, it's more about the experiences of the year. For instance, the year when Ed and I went back to peak week of autumn leaves to do portraits of these boys, um, and we wanted them in the peak week in Vermont. And there it was, orange leaves like I've never seen. But the next morning was a flash snowstorm. Now, there is a blue crystal white sparkling snow all over the tips of the orange leaves you just had to die right then and there because you saw the most you could ever see so there was a painting of a little white fox that I, I made the little white fox sit in the white snow with the orange leaves so that painting might be precious to me because it reminds me of that time oh. in my life so it's all kind of a world each one has its own little world of time that we lived in so, if you catch me on another day, I will be remembering, reminiscing something else I loved. I have to go back and, and catch what something you said a second ago, which is less and less. Are you painting less and less now? Less than you used to? Um, well, I don't have to paint um, eight paintings a week to make a living. Right. Um, and, and I can take the time to paint what I want and how I want to okay. paint it and explore. So, and I can take a little more time off and travel more with my husband and see the world. And, um, and it's a beautiful, exquisite time because what I do paint is very meaningful to me. You know, it's not coupled anymore with the I have to part of life. Gotcha. But, you, uh, but your uh, relatively, uh, your joy of painting today, is it as strong as it ever has been? Well, you get guess as much what? Out of it. It's more joyful. So I don't want to paint um, anything that is other than joy, because it's total joy now. There's no, oh God, I have to get up and go to work today. It's the, I can't wait to get up and go paint. So the paintings are, are well, though they've all been joy-filled, this is a time when I am free to paint. Um, if I see someone on the street that I badly want to paint, I don't have to worry about whether it will sell or not. I just want to bring them home sit them there, play Beethoven, and feel the breath of life breathing through them and paint them. And I don't care if, if, uh, if it, 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 I don't want to worry about paying the rent. I want to paint just for the love of it. Yes, I don't either. I don't want to <laughs> I don't worry about Nobody it. Does. Sometimes we have to do what we got to do, right? You bet we do. The, so, so are you a better painter today than you were last week? Or last month or last year? You know what? Uh, it depends on what I ate last night. And I think um, t 
to do anything well, I think you must be in training. I don't think we can avoid taking care of our bodies and our hearts, our minds, uh, our health, in order to be the best we can be. So if we went out and blew it out and I had spare ribs and french fries and a milkshake, I'm not going to paint very well today. So yes, I think I'm a better painter today. I ate well last night. So, but but being the being as good as you can be in all aspects of your life is what mm -hmm, you're talking mm -hmm. about. Um, Carmel, we touched on Carmel a minute ago, and for people who haven't been here before, from your perspective, from an artist's perspective, tell people about Carmel and why you're here and what it means to you. And there's very few places as charming. Maybe that's just not true. I can only say that this place is one of the most charming to me because it is one of those places where the trees have more right away than the people. So we have taken care to plant, uh, to take care of a tree that grows in the middle of the street, to not have sidewalks. Um, if you build a house, you have to make sure your trees are cared for first. Um, we live on the coast, so it is the most beautiful beach I've ever seen. There's a, something about the energy here and the fact that it's um, not commercial that's exquisitely, genuinely natural. And we maintain that. That's something that Carmel's pretty rigid about, is to keep it pure uh, for nature. So when you come, you always feel refreshed and new. And even if you're uptight, if you walk down along that beach for a while, you're going to forget what in the world you were upset about, because it's just beautiful. That's probably what I'd say. The, the, uh, um, you, you travel quite a bit. It, if, do you think living in Carmel has made you a better uh, painter? A better artist, no, not I so much for the visual that. as much as for the total vibe of. It always seemed to me that I've only been a couple of places in my life where, if I were blindfolded and I couldn't hear, couldn't hear or anything, uh, Carmel has a feeling. There's a feeling to being here that you always know if you're in Carmel. Do you agree with that? Yes, I totally agree with that. As for whether it would make you a better artist or me a better artist. Um, I really would have no way of knowing that, and I, I probably could argue the opposite of that, but don't forget I'm a Libra. I can argue both sides of anything forever. <laughs> At those scales up there, huh? Yes, I think if I was living in a busy city, it simply would have inspired my art to go in a different direction. You know, like even when I lived in New York for those months, I wanted to paint uh, people in trash cans more then here, it wouldn't occur to me. Here I would paint a sleeping dog, you know, something. If you didn't live here, where would you live? I wouldn't have a clue. <laughs> no? I mean, you've traveled quite a bit. You've seen some beautiful places. Was there, was there uh, a place that was second to Carmel or no? Well, actually, we were pretty, uh, both my husband and I are very attracted to Santa Fe. Um, it's another kind of there's something about the air there, too. It may have something to do with the high desert and the ocean, about the feeling you're talking about. There are also places where artists gravitate because there's something that um, that you feel intrinsically. It inspires it. The smell of pinion in the air, which is forbidden these days, but was wonderful. Santa Fe was very artistic and beautiful and lovely. Besides that, the cuisine in Santa Fe is the best. Right. Don't like the ocean views from there is my problem with Santa Fe. Oh, yeah. Well, you can pretend. Not much of a beach there. <laughs> or, or, or all beach and no ocean, right? 